every publishing company will have a plugger, and that's kind of their job to do just that. Go out and plug. You've also got a plug. You've got to be a fan of your own work. That's right. And you've also got to write strategically, mm-hmm. right? So if you can get with Keith Urban, you should, you yeah. know. But even then, Keith's going to overwrite. So let's say you want to get on a Keith Urban record. He's going to cut 10, 11 songs. Or that's what's going to be on the record. He might cut 25. But he might cut 25. He, right. might, he might cut all year. He might cut for two years. Right. That's when the, the real competition is when they're listening and listening and listening. So it is a long process mm-hmm. to end up with a song that Keith Urban is singing on the radio. Having a hit song is a little bit like jumping off the moon and landing on a postage stamp in somebody's backyard. Such it's a it's small just window. a small target. So you're saying... Well, I feel... <laughs> I, well, you're, it's almost like the Robin Williams joke about playing golf. He's like, yeah. God, there's this little flag so far away you hit it with a crooked stick and, and it's so big but people they love it subscribe to the official pick rich's brain podcast at richredmond.com forward slash podcasts